Welcome back to Pet Project, everyone. I'm joined once again this week with Becca Lawrence from the Lloydminster and Community SPCA. How are we doing, Becca? We're doing really good. How are you? We're doing great over here. And who are we showcasing this week? <laughs> Who's this cute little furry thing? Yeah, so this cutie here is Jelly Bean. So she came into the shelter probably about a month or so ago. And uh, she came in with four little babies. So they were all in foster care for a while and they've all currently found their homes except for Jelly Bean now. So she is waiting for her forever home now. Well, that's wonderful to hear that they all managed to, <laughs> to find their own place out there. And I guess now it's uh, mom's turn. So what, yeah. <laughs> what kind of personality does Jelly Bean have? Like obviously watching her, she seems like she's just having a good time, uh, you know, laying around getting pets. Is that safe to say yes. that's her default position? Yes, yeah, she loves to be pets all the time, all the attention she likes to be on her. And uh, she's also, she kind of is just fairly laid back in that sense as well too. She likes her cat trees, but then she does get quite, quite playful here and there. So uh, we do recommend, you know, we think she'd be okay with other kids and things like that. But, uh, you know, I think she might sometimes get a little bit crazy, crazy for the little, little ones, but other than that she, she's a great cat that's fair you know different animals have different temperaments and you know people got <laughs> yeah. people have to kind of learn how to uh you know approach specific animals but you know like you said like i'm sure she's fine most of the time but when she wants her space <laughs> i'm sure it's probably better just to let her you know hang out and do her thing yeah well that's yeah. wonderful <laughs> becca so i know recently you guys have had you know a big influx of animals and over the last couple of weeks you've managed to find a lot of forever homes for different dogs and cats and and rabbits and guinea pigs and so yeah. <laughs> how are you guys doing overall right now for numbers you know how how are things looking inside the SPCA yeah really good actually you know around this time of year we're a little bit fuller than what we'd like to be but um, you know actually really good you know for cats adult cats we are really low so here in the shelter when you do come there's not a lot of kitties to look at which is nice but uh, it also gives us that opportunity to call everybody off of our waiting list that have been again waiting so patiently for us and uh, and get those kitties in here as well too and then we just have a couple dog surrenders like I normally say typically our dog numbers stay pretty low which is nice uh, but yeah other than that we are low <laughs> Beautiful. And so just to yeah. touch on that a little bit, Becca, you mentioned, you know, you guys do have a call list. So why don't you just mm -hmm. explain that real quick for us here, you know, maybe for a guy like me who doesn't fully understand. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, our waiting list, basically, you know, if there's, uh, you know, our citizens out there, they're very willing to hang on to these strays for us or try and find the homes that they came from. Uh, you know, we'll add them onto our list. You know, if, uh, if a, a cat they have has babies, and we really would appreciate them hanging on to them until about eight weeks old, they'll hold on to them. So, you know, obviously kittens and uh, injured animals always take precedent. But, uh, yeah, for the most people, when people can hang on to them, on to them for us, as our shelter is not very big, uh, we, that's, that's when we add people onto our waiting list. Beautiful. There you go. Lots of information for anybody out there who perhaps, you know, <laughs> is uh, needing to be on the call list here if you have some animals yeah. <laughs> at home. Beautiful. So, Becca, we were speaking last week that your guys' uh, AGM is coming up, your annual general meeting. So that's yeah. next week, correct? Yeah, on the 27th. So it'll be at 7 o'clock uh, at, at night, obviously. <laughs> and uh, anyone is invited. So our executive director, Danica, she will be sending out the Zoom invite. So you can sit home at home in your jammies if you like and, uh, and attend our annual general meeting and get some information that you think maybe you just never heard before. Beautiful. And what can kind of people expect to be discussed in, in you know, what's on the agenda for the meeting this year? Yeah, I mean, we got obviously we'll talk about what our numbers were last year and, and uh, kind of go over all that, what that looked like and, you know, kind of some future plans, things like that. Um, and even in a sense of uh, if you become a member, you can have a vote in some of the things that, you know, are, are being discussed. So you can always do that online or come into the shelter and purchase a membership. Uh, but yeah, it's basically just kind of a jumble of everything that we did last year and uh, how we're looking this year. 
Beautiful. And so one last thing, we're basically out of time, Becca, <laughs> but you know, I got to ask, is there any physical <laughs> items that you guys need? I know, you know, you've cleared out a lot of animals, so, you know, hopefully you're not in dire straits for anything, but is there anything you want to put out there into the ether? Uh, yeah, for the most part, we're doing really good. Uh, you know, we still have a couple bunnies and a couple guinea pigs, so we go through the Timothy hay quite quickly. So we actually did have someone bring in a ton of bedding for us last week, so that was really awesome. Uh, but yeah, Timothy hay, we're getting a little bit lower on, but other than that, we're doing really good. Beautiful. All right. So maybe if you live on a farm just outside of town and you have some extra hay <laughs> sitting around, you know, that would be uh, certainly very helpful for the SPCA. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunately all the time we have this week, Becca, but I want to thank you for taking the time to speak with us and certainly thank you to Jelly Bean for stopping by. <laughs> yeah. She's she's distracted. She's in her own world, but I'm sure uh, sure she had a great time with us today. Yeah. Thank you so much. And we'll speak with you again next week. Thanks for having us. Manage your waste and recyclables with Quick Pick Waste Disposal. 100% locally owned and proud to serve and support the communities we call home. Quick Pick, the convenient solution to avoid pollution.